What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some more Call of Duty Ghosts information. We recently got some new stuff confirmed and it's all pretty darn exciting so uh, let's get straight into it. So uh, the first thing that we have to talk about is that there are going to be some major audio advancements in Call of Duty Ghosts. So uh, Mark Rubin sat down for an interview with Post Arcade and he was kind of talking about some of the things that they're doing in the audio department and he made it clear that all of these new improvements with the audio are tied to the new Ghosts engine, the new Call of Duty engine. They aren't tied to the next generation consoles so all these new improvements we're about to hear about are you know going to be available on all platforms whether that's xbox 360 xbox one ps4 pc whatever it is they're available on all the platforms so that's a good thing so uh, what he said is that with the new engine we can actually model the way that sound travels in the space that you're in if you're outside next to a building or inside in a small room or inside in a big room it's all detected in real time and changes the sound and then he went on to elaborate he said the new engine also takes into account materials if you fire a weapon in a small cement bunker the sound will be very sharp but if you're in a metal bunker, the sound will be very tingy. The sound will be altered based on the materials it's bouncing off of. So, depending on what size room you're in, or if you're in a room, or outside, or whatever it is, and then also what kind of surroundings are around you, you know, what the building is made out of, and what the floor is made out of, and things like that, that is all going to change the way that your gunshot sounds, or your footstep sounds, or your uh, throwing the grenade sounds, you know, things like that. And that's just, that's crazy, because think about how important that is in multiplayer. Like, if you know exactly what room an enemy is in just based off the sound of his gunshot, that's huge, and that's going to differentiate good players from great players, and it's really going to be a great thing for people with headsets to really pay more attention to those minor details in the game that can help you, you know, win or, you know, do better than the enemies, have an advantage over the enemies. So, uh, that is, uh, that's pretty cool, and I'm excited about it. And he went on to talk about sound a little bit more. He said... Another big change in audio, and this will have a big impact in multiplayer, has to do with explosions and reactive emitters. The world has triggers that will go off based on forces like explosions. If I throw down a grenade and it goes off, the chain link fence behind me might rattle from the concussive force of the grenade. Windows and doors and other objects will make noise after the explosion as well. So, uh, again, this is just crazy. You know, it's going to be a big, big, big advantage to people with headsets, but then also all of this is just going to kind of add to the realism aspect of the game. Like, when you're in game and you throw grenade and it goes off and the chain link fence behind you rattles that's just going to make it feel more real it's going to be more immersive you're going to feel like you're more in the game it's not just going to be like a 2d explosion where there's a fireball and that's all that happens now things are going to happen around the map that are going to change whenever you do things like shoot or throw grenades or things like that so uh, that's pretty cool like i said it's going to be a big advantage for people with headsets but then also at the same time it's just it's going to make the game more immersive more real and more realistic so uh, that's a pretty cool thing now uh, moving on to the second topic of this video another thing they're working on is some sort of ghosts companion app and I'm really excited to see what they do with this because it could be pretty cool if they do it right but it's like some sort of second screen like a phone or a tablet or uh, iPad or you know whatever it is that you can use to interact with the game so Mark Rubin said it's a little bit more of a challenge when it comes to our types of games looking away from the screen when the action is intense is obviously a challenge from a game design standpoint we actually have a whole department a whole studio basically wrapped around the idea of second screen. Our beachhead group is doing a lot of work there, but a lot of it ties into multiplayer and I can't talk too much about it now. So again, they're working on some way of incorporating like iPads and PS Vitas and cell phones, you know, other second screens that you can use to interact in game. Maybe you call on a UAV by using that. Maybe you can change your classes on your phone while you're in game. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but they're going to have some sort of little system and, you know, extra features that you can change or, or do things with based off of some sort of second screen. And he went on to elaborate about this. He said, it's going to be free and this is where you have to be smart on your design. You can't make it required and it can't confer a massive advantage. You don't want it so that the guy with an iPad has an advantage over all the other players in multiplayer just because he has the money to buy an iPad. It'll be used to enhance the experience, but not offer any advantages. So that's very, very good that they're, you know, taking that into consideration. They aren't going to give you a huge advantage if you have this second screen, but it is going to add to the gameplay. It's going to enhance your kind of experience with the game in some way, shape, or form. I'm not sure how they're going to do this, but I'm excited to see how they do do it because I think it would be pretty cool. And, and I don't know, just, you know, sitting there playing your game and then also having an iPad out doing crazy stuff on that as well. I don't know. It's the future of gaming. It's exciting. I want to see what they can do. So, 
Anyway, moving on to the final kind of uh, update or piece of information that we have from from the past couple of days. Uh, this is about a new co-op mode coming in Call of Duty Ghosts. So it's not all that specific, but as you guys know, we have been told and confirmed that uh, that Spec Ops is not going to be returning in Call of Duty Ghosts. So you know how like Treyarch has zombies for co-op. Uh, the uh, Infinity Ward side of things, the Modern Warfare side of things, always had Spec Ops, and that was you know it was a pretty good game mode. A lot of people aren't too keen on it, but I thought it was pretty cool and. and it's been confirmed that that's not going to be coming back. But recently, on July 4th, Candace Capen confirmed via tweet that, that it is going to be coming back. There will be some sort of cooperative mode, and they're not announcing it at this time. So uh, that, that's a good thing. You know, there will still be three modes. There's going to be campaign for ghosts, multiplayer for ghosts, and then this third, you know, variable co-op mode for ghosts. But we're not sure what it's going to be yet. So I thought I could maybe ask you guys if you have any ideas. Like, if you think it might be something related to, like, stealth, because it seems like stealth plays a big role in Call of Duty Ghosts, maybe there's like sneaking missions or a sneaking game type or something, or, or maybe it'll be related to uh, Riley, the dog, because the dog has already become an icon before the game even came out, so maybe it'll be a dog-only game type, or, or maybe it's like a, a puppy simulator like you see on those DS games, I'm not sure, I have no clue what it could be, but uh, let me know what you guys think, if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments. And, and maybe we can come up with some cool stuff that they could do. So, uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. I am so, so, so excited for this game. I'm going to have so many tip videos and so many great videos for ghosts. You guys won't know what to do with them. But uh, until we get there, I've got a bunch of great videos coming soon on Black Ops 2 and a few other games. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Make sure you go watch Black Ops 2 Whole Shot on Uplink. And I'll catch you all later. Peace out.